So here we are in the first gen. We're going to give it a start here. Turn off the heat and AC. Right now, it's reading good voltage. And all the other gauges are looking like they normally do. We got our gauges up here working again. The radio's on. Let's get it on the road here and I'm gonna vlog a little drive back to the house for at least five to 10-ish minutes and let you guys watch this gauge here with me. I'm curious to see if it is good to go or what the verdict is. But they claim they did extensive testing on it, wire testing, a whole bunch of stuff, and they said they drove it four different times where they parked it, let it sit a little while, started it back up, took it on another loop just to make sure nothing, you know, it wasn't like some sporadic thing that they could miss on just one drive. And they said that it's not having any signs of any kinds of issues of high voltage anymore, and it's reading to be perfect so fingers crossed that it's good to go and it was only there for 48 hours these guys are freaking legit i've been to so many shops where like it takes them forever to get the stuff and then it takes them forever to actually figure it out and then when they figure it out they do it wrong and then you got to take it back somewhere else anyway these guys seem to be it's almost like no matter what you take they always either they know how to do it or they always call somebody to come over who knows how to diagnose problems and get stuff fixed no traffic to get in and drive and I never had one thing about it since I bought it probably six weeks ago that stood out to me as unusual or anything that would scare me away from wanting to drive it like this thing just you know it just ran like a great well-maintained old truck and it's part of the reason why I freaking like driving it so much I'm just gonna keep the camera rolling here hope you guys don't mind the rolling vlog just looking at my gauges I just want you guys to see that voltage gauge because what had happened when that positive and negative cable on the alternator started melting, well, my voltage shot through the roof right before I had smoke coming, coming in my vents. Everything was totally good, and then it just went smoke show. There was just smoke everywhere. I'm going to get on it a little bit little bit more here i'm never abusive with my vehicles but i wouldn't mind getting it up to a little bit higher rpm on the straight strip over here just to put a little more test to it is all Aside, 
we got music again we got the radio again we got good voltage again we got all the gauges working properly wipers they're working again without turning themselves on we've got our dash lights give them a little pull here we got our dash lights you can't really see them in the middle of the daylight here but we got our dash lights back or everything's working again which is beautiful and i know some of you were doubting it not many of you but there were some of you that had little faith that that shop would be able to figure it out as quick as i did but like i said there couldn't have been a more convenient place for that truck to have had an issue other than me driving it and happening to be in the direction of that shop in the first place oh look there's a deer i'm kind of like a dog when they see a squirrel it's like me with a deer i'm like yo there's a deer yes sir oh bambi oh bambi better watch out man ain't messing around like i was saying those guys i would trust them with anything I haven't had one question that they haven't been able to answer for me. And they're not even they're not even like a diesel shop. They're just uh if you have anything you need fixed shop. Like if you have anything with a motor in it, we will fix it. And if we don't know how to fix it, we'll call up somebody who does know how to fix it and have them come get their hands on it to fix the thing. So they've been awesome. You guys know who you are. I don't want to put anything out there and then have people like trying to find my location or their location and one of those things i did that for a business one time and i put their name out there and they're like yeah we got these people like driving around our parking lot you know asking about your trucks and asking where you live and stuff and trying to get information and they're, they're like we just don't really want our business mentioned ever actually so not knowing what they have to say about that i'm just going to leave them out of it but you guys know who you are if you see this you guys do awesome work and i appreciate it back on the gauge view Need to get some of that old diesel in here. Holy smokes, we're running on a quarter tank. That voltage meter has not moved off of 14.5, not one time. Not once. That's what we like to see. That is what we like to see. There she is in all of her not on fire glory. And there's a little tiny, oh, that's all you get to see, of a uh, another truck here. It's pretty cool. It's pretty freaking sweet, but I'm not gonna be able to show you everything. Anyways, guys, if you wanna get entered to win Rosine, the 24 valve here, giveaway ends in one week at this point i'm pretty sure just one week or eight days something like that real close to just a week and that giveaway is going to be over and right now it is jackpot time on the website so you can spin the wheel on the site and win up to an absurd amount of entries right now but you have to go to the website spin the wheel check it out if you have our app we got you we're going to give you a bonus um, as well actually you're actually going to get our best bonus that's available right now when you use the app as a thank you for using our app and downloading it and having notifications on we appreciate it anyways guys running out of time get entered while you can thanks so much for the love and understanding gonna hide the next truck but um look at this first gen here yeah it's freaking sick so sick somebody's gonna be winning that truck and to all the people asking why isn't there a winner? Why isn't there a winner? Seven to 14 days, just to be clear, is an estimated time window. It's an estimation. It's never gonna be sooner than seven days because there's some kind of legal deadline that like you can't do a drawing for sweepstakes sooner than seven days after it ends due to certain legal obligations and deadlines and stuff like that. But the seven to 14 thing is just always kind of like a general time frame, but sometimes it ends up being 15 days, sometimes 18 days, you know, but generally seven to 14 days is an estimated window. However, like I said in the previous video that I posted yesterday, which at this point, when you see this video, we could actually already have a winner then by now, because you're gonna see this video like two days after it's filmed. We could have a winner by now, but generally speaking, seven to 14 days, sometimes it goes over a little bit, but it's the same process. Entries are with the administration, does the drawing, and they contact us once they have conducted that drawing successfully and drawn a winner for the giveaway. Anyways, guys, thanks so much, and I'll catch you in the next video.